Now, uh, let me uh, say, discuss an important concept in explainable reasoning. That means black box versus white box AI. Black box AI refers to the systems that uh, AI systems that uh, um, say decision making uh, processes are opaque, making it uh, difficult to understand or interpret how decisions are made. These systems um, can perform, uh, uh, we say, exceptionally well, but are untrustworthy because the users or stakeholders cannot explain their behavior. On the other hand, uh, we have a white box AI uh, that emphasizes on interpretability and, and transparency. These uh, systems provide insight into um, decision-making process, processes, ensuring uh, it, that uh, every step is traceable. And uh, this actually transparency uh, improve user uh, con uh, say uh, confidence. Uh, it helps to identify and detect and also uh, correct the biases and makes this system actually inherently more accountable. Uh, white box AI is uh, closely aligned uh, with, uh, say, explainable AI. But what is explainable AI? Explainable AI seeks, uh, seeks, seeks to, uh, say, make AI system interpretable without sacrificing the, say, performance. This is uh, particularly is uh, important in uh, regula regulatory environment where the, say, transparency is essential for uh, compliance. Let's uh, have a look on the different, uh, we say, uh, categories of uh, or, or approaches of um, explainable AI. First of all, we have anti-hack explanation. These uh, explanations are, say, integrated into the AI models during its designs. Example, examples involve, uh, say, decision trees, um, uh, self-explaining ne neural networks, and linear models. We have also uh, in hoc explanations that actually in this presentation we we focus on this kind of explanation that these explanations are generated during uh, the, the the models learning or decision making process. This approach um, provide real time and process oriented explanation. In the next slide I will explain what is the uh, process-oriented reasoning and explanation. That uh, this kind of uh, uh, say explanations are more innovative. Okay, that means we don't have a very clear method or sol uh, solutions for this kind of explanation. And at the end, we have the post hoc explanation. This kind of uh, say these these explanations. Uh, are say applied after the model has been trained or 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 the decisions are made, and we can use the the famous tools like Sharp, Lime, or or Gradcam. Uh, in this table, you can see uh, a, com a comparison between different uh, methods or strategies. In terms of timing, anti hoc built uh, into the model. In hoc is during decision making, and post hoc is usually after prediction or the or the model is trained or pre-trained. And we have in terms of focus, uh, anti hoc is um, intrinsic interpretability. In hoc is process oriented reasoning, and post hoc is a retrospective uh, explanations. In terms of technique, uh, we have uh, decision trees and rule-based models for the anti hack and we have uh, symbolic AI and graph neural network explainers, and usually innovative solution for, for in hack and we have Lime, Sharp, and GradCam for post hoc And also about the strength, anti hack is uh, faithful by design, in hack is real, uh, provide real-time insights, and post hoc is usable on complex models. And the weakness, 
anti hack is limited to usually simple task in hack uh, provide or or has say high computational cost and post hack suffers from approximation uh, errors